Hello, welcome to Tech Founder. I am Mustafa Imon. In this tutorial, I will show a complete login register process in Node.js and MongoDB. Create an auth controller for this, an user model, and an auth route. In the user model, I will write the user schema. For login and registration process, we have to install two packages. Okay, now in the controller, first import the user model. and import the packages. Now I will write a function for the registration process. This process will encrypt the password we submitted and if any error occurred, it will return the error. We will take the encrypted password from here.
Now in the auth route, So we have been created a route for the registration process. We should import the auth.js file in server.js. Our server is running on port 3000, so when anybody call localhost 3000 slash api slash register, it will hit the register controller. So let us check it. I am sending this data in JSON format for the registration. Okay, there is an error here. Okay, it should inside here. Don't forget to run your server. Okay, user added successfully. If we see from the database, The password has been saved in encrypted format. So our registration process is working properly. Now we will see the login process. I will write the full function first, then I will describe it.
Okay, so if anybody submit email or phone as username, it will search in the database that the user is really exist or not. If not existed, it will return no user found. If existed, then it will compare the submitted password with the encrypted password. If it doesn't match, it will return password doesn't match. Otherwise, it will create a token and show login successful. Here I have been sent a token also. Actually, it is like that. But according to the JavaScript ES6 rules, if the reference and value is same, we can write it in single. And here we have been sent the username with the token. So anywhere from our project, we can take it. We don't have to run any extra query. And this token will be expired after this user have to log in again after one hour. You can change the time as much you need. And this is the identity of the token. We will need this when we will check the token is original or not. You must keep it complex in production. In my next video, I will show the practical use of it. So let us check now. I will give my email address as username. First, I will give a wrong email. No user found. I can give my phone number here. It will also work. Okay. Now, the email is correct, but the password is wrong. Password doesn't match. Now everything is okay. Login successful and this is our token. So our login process is working properly. We found our token. We have to send this token in header with every API call which routes are authenticated. Otherwise, it will reject our access. In my next video, I will show how to create authenticated routes. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel.